Welcome back, True Believers. This is Rakdar, and today I'm playing some Nino Kuni. Now, since the last episode, I have changed things up a little bit. I've done a. I actually decided to go do what the youngsters do down at the dance club, which is. Well, they grind on each other, but I've been doing some grinding. Uh, because I was like, you know what? Maybe I just should get some extra levels, make things a little bit easier on myself. But what's funny is, I was talking to me, Broha, and I found that- Dude, maybe I shouldn't even switch from that. Like, oh, dude, yeah, this thing isn't even as good. Fuck that shit. <laughs> Fuck that noise. Alright. But yeah, so, after chitting a little bit of a chat with, uh, with my brother, I realized that that thing is coming after me right now, and this is a fake wall with a chest behind it. Harazzle, harusel. I've done things. What medal of agility? Look at this. I'm getting like items left and right here. Literally one to the left and one to the right. But yeah, so I grinded my characters up a little bit, and I spoke with my brother, and he was like, "You know what's funny is that you went to the slightly more challenging area first, and I wasn't quite sure what he was talking about. So, but apparently, the word on the street is, oh, who wears medals? I think I wear medals. I think I can wear anything." Oh, dude, that's cool, but I don't want something with attack on it to be going on Oliver. What's this got? Medal of Fortitude. Oh, we'll take that on Oliver. Why the hell not? In fact, dude, she needs something else. But not something with attack. The problem is, I don't really have anything that wears medals in particular. But, as you can see, I've, like, switched up my team a little bit, decked things out. Um, I found out that Putting things on the proper person, I already knew that was a good thing, like, the game tells you that's a good thing. But I didn't realize that it gives you, I think it's a 6% bonus to all stats. So... And the reason is I said 6% is just because I kind of calculated it. Come on, you're really gonna stand right there? I don't want to fight you. He's like glitched right there too, fuck this guy. Maybe if I lose him and then he changes direction again... Oh, he like can't make it over here. So basically, I have to fight him. Alright, let's do it. Bring it on, buddy. I don't even care. Kick your ass. Or maybe I won't. Fuck! Fancy your chances, do you? Dude, so yeah, um... The problem with this place, I realize, is like, even... Even with, like, awesome, uh, help from your mans... This place is, like, still tough because... Just certain enemies have certain, like, things about them... That kind of make them able to rock your world. So firstly... There's this enemy called the Ice Queen in here. And I didn't even notice it during my last recording session. But the problem with the Ice Queen is that, um... The trouble with ye old Ice Queen is that she has a move that can instantly kill you. But, um... It's not that accurate. So her move will instantly murder your face. Oh no, it, it, no, the problem with it is that it is accurate. I got that backwards. So the move wouldn't be too much of a problem, if not for the fact that... Is there icicles I can knock down around here? It doesn't look like there are. Hmm. Interesting. Maybe I can use bridge or something. I don't even know what I could use. Bridge? Nope. Um... Rejuvenate? Nope. See, before it was you just use pulse and knock down some icicles, but the icicles... Oh, they're way above, so I have to knock them down from that spot up there. There's probably something pretty good in that chest just because you have to, like, think in advance. I don't know. Who knows? Maybe the reason that they make so you have to think in advance because it's a good item. Let's find out. So, yep, here we go. We can pulse that thing down with, uh, this thingamadoo whacker. But yeah, so basically, I just geared myself up real good to come back here. And kind of rock this place, but like I said, my bro- Oh! Did I even mention what my brother said, or did I get s too sidetracked like I usually do? So my brother mentioned that... Uh, what's interesting is I chose, I guess, a slightly harder of the three places to start. But because I'm a stubborn little shithead, I was like, well, you know what? I don't care. I was like, I'm gonna... It looks okay. It looks like I can pulse this place anyway. Um... But yeah, so I was just like, fuck it. I'll go to the harder place. I don't even care. I already started. I'm kind of a stubborn dude. I'm like, once I start a place in a game, I kind of want to just finish it. 
So, whoa, Buster Blade. So maybe that item is totally worth it. It just sounds cool. And Buster Blade, in that other game that I play, <laughs> I don't even... Buster Blade is just like a name of cool weapon if ever there was one. Oh, but I've got a weapon right now that... Okay, so if I need something with uh, air element, that's a good weapon. I can probably throw that on... Oh, no, he's also got Blazing Blade on. Who is not- who can use that? Not him. I guess nobody can use that that can make good use of it right now, so whatever. But yeah. Um, if I need an air element weapon, which right now fire element weapons are what is best for me. But if I end up needing an air element weapon, now I have Buster Blade. Which is cool. I guess, I mean, realistically, since this one is in the way of your actual path, there's no way to get this chest without blocking your way. But the other one, coolly enough, I got it before I blocked my own path, and I'm hoping that I'm gonna run into a save point in this place, but it just seems like there's never going to be one, ever. But I'm like, dude, there's gotta be one, and see, I was hoping that in the last episode, I would've like run into a save point, and everything would've been like tra la 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 to do, cool, and life would've worked out, but that is not what happened, and so I was just like, fuck this, I quit. Alright, so that fight didn't actually go very well, and holy shit, green chest central over there. Did I ever mention that one episode where, like, there was a green chest in a spot where you totally would think that, um, it, like, would be able to be gotten to quite easily, but it was, like, it turns out to be in a totally terrible place? Oh yeah, I'm totally heading the right direction now. Oh, is that, is that a Papa thing? Dude, I do not like the Papa ones, like, I don't even want to fuck with them. I know that's something else, even, possibly. Either way, man, I don't even want to fuck with some of the crazy shit around here. Oh, come on! Purple. Is that... I can't even tell because, like, the blue... I think it is purple, though. Yep. I was like, I think the, the blue is, like, affecting the map color and shit. Oh, uh, I just got this guy on my ass. I think I can outrun this thing, though. I don't want to possibly fuck myself over, though, by trying to outrun things that I can't, but... And the thing is, like, I really don't need to fight things in here as much as before, because, like, it's not so important that I train. And did I miss a save point? That would be unfortunate, because this totally looks like a place where a boss would be. Oh, yeah. Dude, I want to... <laughs> Fuck. I don't want to go into a boss fight without a save point. Oh, here, here's the save point. Beautiful. Oh, my gosh. That would have been so unfortunate if I had not come over here <laughs> to this save point. Because I was like, really? I can't save before a boss? Also, something I just remembered, I need to do what I just did, which is save on the other file here. Because when I started up, uh, when I started up my computer today to do some recording, fucking the program that I used to record was not working correctly. Like, so I got a little scared, so hopefully this doesn't get corrupted and I don't have to re-record this. If you're hearing me say this, Everything worked out. You should be like, I'm glad everything worked out, Rakdar. So in case you're like wondering to yourself why I'm going backwards a little bit, I am hoping... Yeah, looks like there's nothing really of significance here. I was hoping to maybe find another item back here, but... Oh, there's one of the... Urgh. You know what there is back here is another one of these robots, which I have yet to figure out their use. I'm sure I will. I keep on forgetting to look it up, All right? We saw on the tombstone trail in it. What a flippin' neck they are. It looks like its cogs are all frozen up, but I wouldn't want to be around when it thaws. Maybe... Oh, you know what? This could be... I wonder if... Okay. You know what these might be? Is the types of enemies that they have in, like, Final Fantasy games a lot. Where it's like... It's an enemy that you can come back and fight. That is, like, way going to out-level you and be tough, like Emerald Weapon and shit. And it's not just Final Fantasy games, there's a ton of RPGs have them where it's like... It's like Sephiroth in Kingdom Hearts, I mean, shit like that where... They just have an enemy that way out-levels you, and like, the only way to beat it is to... Be a pretty high level and or really good at the game. Like Sephiroth in fucking... Kingdom Hearts, I remember that was one hell of a bitchin' ass boss, and... Check this out, holy shit, if they were going to, uh... Hide a magic stone somewhere... Would probably be here. And hopefully. Oh, yeah. I was like, what are we going to have to battle? And here it is. It's a legendary dog. 
What are you? What is your name? It's Ce Cereboreus. I like how it's Cer it's Cerebrus, but it's like the Borealis. It's Boreus because it's the Borean. It's the tundra. All right. So who am I gonna start with? By the way, you may notice also that I switched Gunter to um. I switched Gunter to Oliver, and that's because Gunter, weirdly enough, is not the um. Gunter is not actually like the proper type. For, uh, Swain, even though he starts on Swain. So I thought that was really strange, was that, um, like, Gunter, Gunter starts on Swain, but he's not the right type for Swain. And so I actually had to, uh, like, swap my shit around a little bit, just to kind of get him to work with Swain, which I thought was, er... So, like, because he works with Oliver, but not with Swain. That's what I'm trying to say, so... It was kind of a weird little thing, but I was like, okay, I mean, if that's what they're gonna make me do, then that's what they're gonna make me do. I accept this fate, and I don't know, it's just an interesting thing that... I never even noticed it until a certain point that... It was... Oh! Cold boulder, defend... Oh, lemur face. Okay, that was just an attack to one person, but let's get Gunter over there really quick to grab the thing that popped out of him. Gunter, get over there! You're not fast enough, Gunter! You're too freaking slow, but now you're supercharged! Alright. What is his move? Oh, Volcano! Oh, I bet that'll do, because it's fiery, I bet it'll do some pretty good damage to this guy, like, it'll get a damage boost, plus, and it's also, oh yeah, holy shit. And you know that monsters live in cold places, don't like fire, well, this is big push is this oh, it's no different. Go on, give him a roasting. All right, great. So that's perfect. I'll just keep on doing. See, luckily my main guy happens to be Oh, you know what? Oh, nice time for a chance cuz I just remembered I got this move. Slash and burn. Yes. Holy fuck does that ever do a good chunk of damage. And my normal Oh, look. Oh shit. Go grab that. Make sure I grab it with one of my fire guys. In fact, grab it with Gunter. Fucking Gunter, get out there, grab this, oh yeah, get another volcano, oh, this is perfect that I've evolved Gunter, oh man, this is working out great so far, and Money Mayhem has a uh, boost to fire damage right now, oh yeah, and now it's Chance, swap back into Money Mayhem, give it a slash and burn, even though that uses a lot of mana, but I've got a lot of mana, oh yeah, oh yeah. And my, oh, like I said, my basic attack does so much to this guy. This is great! And I just like, okay, let's get another slash and burn. Slash and burn, bitches! Dude, this boss fight, and I am probably saying this too early. Oh, no, no, I just need to defend on my, my one guy. There we go. Beautiful. And war cry. I'm gonna give it a war cry. And then a slash and burn. Yeah! Give him the old one-two punch. Unless I run out of time first. Slash and burn! Oh yeah, there we go. And we'll swap into Gunter. I'm almost out of magic though, I gotta be careful. Oh! And, oh sh crap. This is gonna hurt because I didn't go into something defensive. Fuck. It sucks that I wish like, I should only put things on my team. Fuck, there we go. This is where, dude, things always go bad. I never do it right. All right. Um, luckily, so Swain having Lemur Face Plus is really cool because, um, what's Phoenix Tear do? Restores consciousness and fully restores HP. Urgh, let's just use this on Oliver, of course. And I'll use a mana restoring item on myself. Oh, is he gaining life right now? Oh, no, no, that was Oliver. Okay, cool. And we'll use a mana restoring item on myself. By the way, I brought I bought a bunch of cappuccinos. Alright. Mana restoring item on me. Then let's pull out Oliver. I'll do my best. Use a mana restoring item on himself. See, this isn't this isn't so bad. Oh, except for here comes Howling Blizzard. Crap! Urgh. And nobody was defending. This is gonna be bad. Oh no, that was not so bad. Probably because they're all wearing winter coats. I don't know if this game takes that sort of thing into account. Oh, and he stopped me from using my cappuccino, but it still took the cappuccino. Oh, that's ass. That's total ass. All right. 
Um, cold boulder. Hopefully he's going for me so I can just defend. Oh no, he was going for Brinci! Brinci! Alright, let's go back into a heal. Why not? Just carefulness first, I suppose. Get some heals off here. Um, now we'll go into Money Mayhem because he gets buff damage against this guy. And, you know, this fight. Oh, there was nice time for chance. That was a great time for chance. I was like, Money Mayhem can rock some damage up on this guy right now while he's chanced out. Oh gosh. And I think Esther, I healed her, so she should. Well, I mean, I healed her mana. So she should be rocking. Oh, he's not going after me, so I don't care. I don't even give a fuck. I'm just gonna keep on. Oh, he is going after me. Fuck, what was I thinking? How did I think that was not targeting me? Whatever. It's too late now. Oh, we gotta rock. Oh, we gotta rock this guy. I just want him dead. I just, just want you dead. I'm not even. I'm like, oh, here comes Cold Boulder. Let's go into defend. Beautiful. Beautiful defend. He's switching out dudes. Going to Gunter here. Gunter also has. No, Gunter does not have fire on his weapon, but. Gunter is. Oh, in fact, Gunter gets a debuff on damage towards this guy. In fact, it'd probably be better for me to switch out to Max and use Fireball, but I don't know. It's... Okay, Cold Boulder. Let's switch out to him and defend. Beautiful. That worked out quite well. Oh, except for it still stunned me, but... It stunned me, but I didn't take the insane amount of damage, so that's okay. Let's pop up a Slash and Burn and finish him off. Slash and Burn. Oh, except for he canceled it out. I hate that the, uh... They can- Oh, he's just- Is he, like, enraged? I think he's enraged right now. Okay, this is- Okay. This is f fucking annoying right now. I can't move! Every time I get up, he uses his fucking thing- Alright. Fucking- I don't even care if he's using his move, I'm gonna finish him. Holy shit! That was so annoying! Like, every time I got up, he used the thing, and I was like, I'm not gonna switch out, I'm about to take him down. And I did, so. That fight actually went better than a lot of them. Not because I feel like I did particularly well, but because, um... I ended the fight with everyone alive, <laughs> which... <laughs> to me is a pretty good sign. Oh, and did Gogo... I bet Rise and Shine, and I don't know this for a fact... I'm gonna get rid of Bubble Bath because it's hard to aim, and things have to be close to you to use it. I bet that move is a res. Erection. Alright, and Feathers learned Sandblast. By the way, Feathers is now on the team, and I'm going to treat Feathers as though it is on the team and not just a side slot. Matterhorn, by the way, I need to arm him up and treat him well. And he just pooped out the spirit of the ocean. You obtained the star- the star stone. The star drone. Alright. And we got a page describing Sir Boreas. Sir Boreas? Is that his name? No, it's Sir Boreas. You call him like Sir Boreas or Sir Boreas. And scene. Oh, no. It might still be dangerous. Nay, man, look at those puppy dog eyes. He ain't war bath no more. Oh, dude. He probably was like, why was he evil? All right. I am Sir Boreas, faithful servant of the wizard king and keeper of the stone. Even after his passing, I served my master. I should like him a cool voice. So many ages now, I have got the stone. But it's become... I'm Batman. It drove me insane. Dude, it's like uh, the the one ring, except for it's like one of the three stones. We have all gathered uh, them so that we can defeat Shaddaa. Hmm. I'd sense that all was not right in the world beyond these walls. In saving me from my madness, you have proven your strength and purity of heart. You are worthy of the stone. You can tell all that just from smacking you in the gob. You're a perceptive pooch. I'll give you that. Hmm, I understand that is not a uh, scene, fairy. As, as you will. You, or as will you. You are the ones for whom my master waited, for whom he waits still. Your master, the Wizard King, he knows about us? The Wizard King knows all, and time when you do shall know all approaches, but first you must prove him your strength. Do that which he asks of you. Grant him his final wish. Right the wrong of ages past. I like this music. What could the Wizard King want with us? Bit ragged, if I still know, still looks like old face didn't mean us any harm, and... Maybe, but all he did was throw another load of riddles at us. When is this all going to start making sense? Don't be so negative. We got the stone, and that's what matters. The thing is, now we have to keep on going. You're right, Esther. I wonder if I can put... This is a curious question. 
I wonder if the stone automatically becomes a part of Mornstar. Or if I like... Alright, a deep green orb that once belonged to the Guardian of... Oh, dude, I haven't even like used any of these spirits for anything. I'm sure they do something, alright. A blazing orb that once belonged to a uh, roaring flame... Wait, so what's the thing he just pooped out? Oh, Starstone. So I wonder if I can like... Nope, I can't. I was like, I wonder if I can like select this and do anything with it, but it appears as though I can not. Oh, I need to give that to the one guy. Huh. I totally forgot that I needed to do that. And look at all these things. I've got Hog's Cog. Hamlin Army. It can be used to improve the performance of handguns. Oh, dude. I could even make a weapon with that. Well, anyways. Time to stop worrying about that shit. I was a little bit curious if I could... And the reason I was, I was like, wonder if I can do that and then go back for the purple chest. But something gives me the feeling that is not the case. 